changing the transmission fluid in this 1984 Chevy K20 with an SM465 transmission. And I figured I would do a quick explanation on how to actually remove the shift lever from the transmission housing that sits underneath this cover. Now, as I mentioned, this is an SM465 manual transmission, which means that it's got three speeds plus a granny gear. So yeah, stick along for the ride and I will show you how to get this out. Before you get started, make sure that your vehicle is in neutral and that your emergency brake is on. Another quick note, I removed this because it made filming a little bit easier. This is just the cover of the transmission housing. You don't even have to remove this. You can just slide it all the way up your shift lever. Now, there's a few different components here. Here's your actual transmission housing, and then here's your transmission shift lever. This little metal piece right here, this is the little metal housing that holds your shift lever into your transmission. All you need to do to remove this shift lever is press down and turn about one eighth of a click counterclockwise, pull up on that metal housing. But underneath here, you see that there's a spring. You'll feel that spring action when you press down on this metal housing. That's what's engaging, this spring right here. With this all still assembled, I'll show you that the transmission shift lever is connected to the transmission housing by these two little push pins on either side. Those are sitting in channels. So let me pull that out and show you what I mean. Right here, these channels are sitting against these two little roll pins. It's that straightforward. If you're changing the transmission fluid or just hopping off the transmission fluid in your truck, you can pour the fluid directly into here. To fill up a transmission completely, it should be about one gallon of 80W90 gear oil. Um, just confirm that against your service manual. When you're ready to put your transmission shift lever back in, line up these grooves with the roll pins, push pins, whatever you want to call them in the actual transmission, and just drop that back in. Next, we're gonna lock this metal housing into place on these push pins. Um, you want the bottom of this right here to sit underneath those. So drop that down. So that's, it. that's it, it's locked in. With that back in place, if you removed this cover, you can put it back on and then just see if your transmission will shift, test it. It's not a bad idea to try to pull the shift lever a little bit. Um, obviously don't yard on it, but if you wanna just test it, make sure that's in there, that's a good way to do it. You obviously don't wanna find out if that your transmission shift lever isn't in all the way when you're on your way down the road and you go to drop in a gear. That'd be pretty miserable. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.